Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we are going to be using this blessed palette, the light palette, to do this pink kind of everyday look. If you're up for it, just keep watching. Working in the light version of the blessed palette. Now open it up here. <laughs> Mine's looking a little... Well, you guys know I've dropped it on the floor and stuff before, right? So we're just going to come into my savior. I'm going out with my high school BFF, and I think I'm going to be wearing pink. So this is probably going to be a pink look. I don't know. I mean, definitely I'm not going to do one on one and one on the other because I'm fixing to leave and go out with her. This ought to be fun. Me and my TENS unit and my back brace and my ice. And <laughs> I did just get back from my doctor. Um, she gave me a little bit of a manipulation. Um, so, you know, I feel a little bit better right now. But she says I, she thinks that I have a pinched nerve. Because um, my hip is hurting. My hips has never hurt. They've hurt for a little bit now. I'm going to come into PETA and tap off. And then looking straight ahead, I'm going to come over this flap. Now that will hit my eyelid a little bit, um, but that's okay because we're going to put a different color down on the eyelid. I don't care. The important thing is that I get this area covered with PETA. And I want to try to make it look, you know, um, as much like the other eye as I can. So yeah, let's do that. I'm trying like I'll get out to get content together so that while I'm recuperating from my surgery, which at the time I'm filming this is still a couple of weeks off. I haven't even had time to think about my surgery, get nervous about it or anything like that because I've been so worried about my back and what I have done. I'm starting to think that I might have hurt myself a little bit when I was helping my brother, but then, you know, coming in here and slamming myself down in this chair like nothing had happened finished me off. I don't know. I've never been out for the count this long. Anyway, there we go. I don't like to just sit around talking about pain, you know? I mean, there's nothing that makes your pain worse, I think, than sitting around talking about your pain. <laughs> I mean, the whole purpose of me trying to entertain you here is to get you out of that mindset. So I don't want to talk about my pain. <laughs> I do want you to be informed that there's something going on, that I'm not just going, oh, I'm tired of you guys now. <laughs> I don't have time for you anymore. I don't want you to ever think that. But I don't want to sit and dwell and talk about pain all the time because if you do that, then that's, you know, it's just too much to be talking about pain all the time. Okay, so there we go. Uh, let's get a littler brush. Refer 13 is what I've reached for here. And I'm going to go into a little bit. We're primarily focusing on the top row. And then still leaving my eye slack because I need to hit this flap here. I don't technically know what this is called, but I call it a flap. I'm just going to start pinking up, pinky brown, I guess, up here on the outside. The objective, of course, is to look straight ahead at someone and then see the same amount of shadow that they would if they, you know, if your eyebrows are raised up or whatever. Which, I'll be honest with you, I tend to go around with my eyebrows raised up anyway. <laughs> so a little bit of, a little bit out here on both eyes. And that's how I like to mix cool and warm together. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to come right here in the middle of my eye and just get some sugar tiger. We're going to put that down right here in the middle. Kind of glisten up that a little bit. We can make this more intense by using our finger or by getting this brush wet, but this is good. I like that. I'm going to flop that over to the other side and come into Be a Blessing. I'm going to take Be a Blessing, which is more intense, and come in toward the inner part of my eye and right up to Sugar Tiger. I'm 
tell me below your favorite combinations to use. What's your go-to from the Bless palette? I'd like to know. And also, still, if you have any um, pictures that you want to send in and feature in one of my videos, do that. I love to feature you guys coming into Emmy After 60. Now, those of you who are getting a back order of this palette, you I think this is when you're going to see this change from in me like me after 60 to capital e me after 60 you might notice i always say me after 60 because that's for my friend mary ellen and i didn't catch that <laughs> i didn't catch that the first time around that it said me like me which of course it it, it means that too but primarily it's for her and so this time around on the back orders i think this is where you're going to see some of you. The palette will change names from lowercase e to uppercase e to reflect that. Totally my fault. I was so excited when I got the palette that I didn't notice it wasn't capitalized. We're just darkening up the outer side here. I have really been enjoying watching my sister get out of her comfort zone with the Bless palette since she got it. Because, of course, I told you guys a little bit, you know, that's named for her. And that was Sugar Tiger, by the way. And that was pretty much her go-to. Just that color in her crease and done. And I have been watching her branch out into all kinds of colors in here and taking chances and doing different things. And I've really been enjoying it and watching her have fun with it. Now I'm going to take a tight line with a black liner to make my base of my lashes look darker. That just helps to make them look thicker. And then I'm cheating on my <laughs> Fritzyville basket here with this eyeliner here in coconut. It's the Sephora. I just want to put this in instead of making that all dark. I mean, I'm going to get dark enough when I put the shadow below here. Let me get my mascara on. I don't know what it's going to be. Probably one of these two. <laughs> And I'm totally ignoring everything else. I need to use this, but I don't want to. It's not bad. It's just I've got great mascaras here to work with. I don't want to work with that one. Well, let's come into PETA. I want to take PETA and put PETA underneath here. And then I'll put on my, the rest of my makeup and come back and show you the finished look. I'm just taking and running with a little brush. PETA underneath here and it will smoke it out see but it's not going to make it so dark with this liner and I'll be back with the finished look in just a minute Here. I hope that you enjoyed this look and don't forget to let me know below what your favorite go-to combination is. Other people will see it and maybe they'll give that a try as well. If you've not got this yet, what's stopping you? Go get it. <laughs> I want to let you guys know that you're the best part of this Fritzy family and that if you're not having a blessed day, the way you get one is to go be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, Love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. I'm just darking. I'm just dark and I keep getting like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Did you hear my stomach? It goes. I know, those french fries sucked from Wendy's. Peter, you idiot! Oh, ow, I stabbed myself in the head. I was, I don't know what I was doing. I was trying to make a point of which I've already forgot what it was. When I put the shadow below here, do you want to know like about that? Because I can't tell you. You know why? Because only the shadow knows.
Only the shadow knows. I don't know what this is. It's my thing for the shadow. 